Hello and good morning everybody. My name is Sir Raphael and I will be teaching you environmental studies for class 4. Now everybody, take out your Wonderworld textbooks and turn with me to page 38, lesson number 6, Physical Features of Animals. Right, so we will be learning more about animals, especially their physical features. Uh, it says, yeah, look at the pictures below and tick the animals whose ears are visible, right? Look at the anim animals below. Some animals you can see their ears and some animals you cannot, right? So I will leave that to you uh, to tick. Can you see the animals' ears? Can you not? So, the ear is a sense organ that helps us hear. Animals can be divided into two groups. Those that have a backbone are called vertebrates. Look at the spelling. Learn the spelling. V-E-R-T-E-B-R-A-T-E-S. Vertebrates. Those that have a backbone are called vertebrates. Those that do not have a backbone are called invertebrates basically it's vertebrates with an in before it right vertebrates and invertebrates what are vertebrates those that have a backbone what are invertebrates those that do not have a backbone most vertebrates have ears right animals such as worms sponges jellyfish and starfish do not have backbones and as such do not have ears Amongst the animals that have ears, there are some with ears that are visible, called external ears. Some animals whose ears are not visible have internal ears, right? Can you name at least five more animals with external ears ab apart from those shown above? Yes, I think you can name at least five more animals with external ears. Moving on. Humans too have external ears, one on each side of the head. The external ears in animals vary widely in shape and size, but the internal parts are almost the same as in humans. Birds, snakes, lizards and frogs do not have external ears, but they have extremely but they are extremely sensitive to sound. Try to move slowly towards a bird. What does it do? Birds have two tiny holes in their head, in place of their outer ears. Birds' ears are so powerful that even while flying, they can pick up sounds of swimming fish and crawling insects. If birds had floppy ears like we do, they would hear a lot of wind noise while flying. Most birds have their ear holes covered with Tiny feathers to cut down on wind noise. Snakes and lizards can feel vibrations even though they do not have ears. Large ears help an animal to pick up sounds from different directions. Look at the picture on the right. You see an elephant, right? An elephant uses its thin large ears to fan itself. The elephant flaps its ears to let the heat from its body escape into the surrounding air as it moves. This helps the ear to cool down its body. Right, so different animals and birds have different kinds of ears and uh, some are on the outside, external ears, some are on the inside, internal ears, right? You cannot see a bird's ears, but they hear very well, right? And then you can see that the elephant has large ears it, it flaps its ears to let the heat from its body escape into the surroundings. So, the large ears of the elephant help to cool down its body. Many animals use sound as a method of seeing. Bats can hear sounds that human beings cannot and can easily find their way through pitch dark places. Whales also use sound to locate food to find their way in the vast ocean as a way to keep in touch with one another, right? Even dolphins can do this, right? You, they call this echolocation, okay? It's not uh, found in your book, but that's a little extra general knowledge for you, echolocation. Basically, what they do is they emit sound waves and then based on the sound waves, 
the sound waves travel through the water and then whenever they hit an object those sound waves hit back right so basically they're hearing where they're going right so even bats can do that bats use sonar and even whales and dolphins use echolocation right so that's how bats can see bats you know they say they're as blind as a bat bats don't really see they have very poor eyesight but they, their method of seeing is sound all right they listen to their surroundings hair and fur just like humans have hair on their heads and other parts of their bodies many animals have hair covering their body however some animals may have very little or no hair animals living in cold regions have thick fur that fully covers their bodies their fur traps air and keeps the body warm you know ju just like the polar bear right the polar bears are very big and they have lots of hair covering their bodies right they're big and furry right polar bears have a thick coat of hair covering their bodies animals living in warm areas have less hair on their bodies to allow their skin to breathe easily and remain cool lions and tigers have a thicker or thinner coat depending on the region they live in deer giraffes and zebras have very little hair on their bodies right so if you notice uh, animals living in cold regions they have lots of hair and animals living uh, living in hot regions they have little hair animals like the porcupine and hedgehog have needle like hair on their bodies see see the picture on the right that's a porcupine right now the porcupine has very very sharp needle like hair to protect itself from predators it helps them to protect themselves from their enemies right now see that question below can you tell why a yak has more hair than a buffalo right do you know what yaks are yaks live in the mountains they're like buffaloes but they have much more hair okay so yaks have more hair than buffaloes because they live in colder regions okay and just like we mentioned animals living in colder regions have more hair than animals that li live in hot regions buffaloes live in hot regions and yaks live in cold regions that is why a yak ha a yak has more hair than a buffalo so we've come to the end of the lesson a relatively short lesson let's try to remember what we've learned animals can be classified as vertebrates and invertebrates vertebrates generally have ears what are vertebrates vertebrates are animals that have backbones and invertebrates are th those animals that do not have backbones some animals have external ears while some have internal ears. Snakes and lizards do not have ears but can feel vibrations around them. What else? Uh, what other animals use vibrations around them? Like we learned, bats, they hear, uh, <clears throat> they use echolocation and sonar. Also, whales and dolphins, right? Animals may have fur and hair covering their bodies. These help them to keep themselves warm, right? And, uh, and conversely, animals that live in hot regions, they have very little hair covering themselves to cool themselves, all right? So that will be the end of the lesson for today. For homework, I would like you to do exercises A, B, and C uh, on pages 41 and 42, all right? That will be the end of the lesson. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.